Hola, hola! Hi! Hello, Amores! Let me turn on the live chat. Okay. Oh, it is on, it is on, it is on. She can fly, she can fly, she can fly. <laughs> Go away, notifications. Okay. Hi, loves. We are here to do the karmic and divine masculine check-in. So I hope you guys can hear me. My phone's being really weird. I don't know why. Hi. I figured let's do one more live before I lay my ass down for a little bit. I woke up too damn early today. Too damn early. Thank you all for uh, being here tonight. And thank you all of you guys who have joined me and Mystic Moons live today on Instagram. It was so much fun. Um, there were some good questions. Congratulations to the deck winners of the, of the giveaways. Um, we were also talking about like maybe we could do a YouTube live one day so you never know. So that would be exciting. I changed my background because I'm going to try to do it like maybe once a week for December <laughs> to keep it fun, you know, fun and festive for you guys. So, oh, my back is hurting me. Thank you. My dog Elvira joined me today on the Instagram live too. It was so cute. <laughs> Afterwards, she was like completely over me. My dog was like, get me out of this room. <laughs> She's like, get me out of this reindeer costume. What are you doing to me, mother? <laughs> like she was just over me. <laughs> so, all right, guys. So we are going to be, I'm going to be using all my Karmic Edition decks. I'm also going to be using the Mystic Moon um, Twin Flame Shadows deck. All right, I'm going to use my Karmic Edition Behind the Mask deck, uh, my Third Party Love Triangle deck. All these decks have like masks in the front of them, as you know. Plus, we're going to dive in to what the Karmic wants the Divine Feminine to know. It might trigger you a little bit. And we have the Karmic 411 to get the inside scoop on the Karmic and the Karmic Exposed so that we can expose these hoes, if you know what I mean. There's some hoes in this house. There's some hoes in this house. And we will be clarifying some stuff with my um, Deadly Love Tarot Zombie Edition. Okay? So, yes. Let me go ahead and give us a cleanse. For the collective. I'm to look for the best messages from my Fuego bitches. Help us tap in to the messages that we need to receive at the same time protect my energy thank you spirit all right darlings let's get the insight scoop um i don't even know where to begin shit <laughs> where do i begin mm. i guess we are going to start with the karmic exposed deck how about that how about that so oop. And the Karmic 411 deck just flew over. Hold on. All right. So we're going to use my Karmic Exposed deck. All right. Here we go. Spirit, what are the messages? What is the Divine Feminine? Who is watching and who is guided to watch this in the future? What do they need to know in regards to this Karmic? Oh, look. The first card that just flipped over. I don't care about your masculine's happiness. Boom. Okay, she don't care about your DM's happiness. She cares only about her side. It's like one-sided, perhaps. It could also mean that this karmic is could give could give two shits about your divine masculine. They're probably just with the divine masculine because it gets under your skin. They know that it gets under your skin. So what else do we have here? Oh, we have I'm done. Look at this. 
Your divine masculine is done. It says, I'm ready to leave these karmic cycles. Oh, bitch, that's some tea. Somebody's DM, it could be one DM, it could be a group of divine masculines um, that are ready to walk out. Okay, why? Because maybe this karmic is making it known that she don't love him. Or him, her, her, him, whatever, you know, depending on your specific situation. So, we also have I'm childish as fuck. He's getting tired of her childish ways, her childish, petty ass behaviors. Okay, he's realizing that this karmic, all she does is, is cause problems and drama and stress to your masculine. And he knows and he's just like, I'm done with this bitch. Like, <laughs> like I'm done with this bitch. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why? Because he's waking up. Look at that. He's waking up. It says, I am starting to wake up, saving myself from this karmic. Look at that. And you see the zombie hand coming out from the ground? Go figure. I was guided to use my zombie tarot. And look at the hands. And look at that full moon. And look at this moon. Is there like a, a, a moon phase coming up or an eclipse or something coming up? I don't remember. I tend to forget those things. But maybe it could be a, that that specific, specific phase um, or moon cycle triggers it. December 14th, full moon. What, oh, damn, bitch. For real? You see what I mean? You see what I mean? It triggers an awakening. Damn, bitch. Damn. Yep, I'm done. I'm waking up. This, this karmic is childish. <sighs> yep, because he's realizing that this karmic has always been manipulating him. Like, she manipulates him so well. Especially for the karmics that have, like, children with the Divine Masculine. I feel like she's been using the mask, the kids to like get the masculine to stay, to throw like a little pity party or whatever. Like this, these karmics are like, they fucked you with your masculine's head a little bit too much. And no longer are they going to be using the kids. I'm picking up that the kids are even getting tired. Like, mom, I don't want to do that anymore. Or mom, I don't want to say that anymore. Like, just leave it alone. That's so annoying. Like, I'm picking up kids that are just like sick and tired of the karmic bullshit as well. So, I mean, what does that tell you? You know, what does that tell you? Girl, he's my toy. He got tired of being toyed with, period. And it's interesting because it's like, I manipulate him so well. He's my toy because I'm childish as fuck and I need a toy to play with. I need a teddy bear. You see that? Children need toys to play with when they're bored. So this karmic was bored out of her fucking mind. So she decided to pick on your DM. And your DM is a dumbass for like allowing this shit. For God knows how long this shit has gone on, right? So now your DM is like, oh, I'm waking up from the slumber. Or the spell is wearing off, whatever, right? Mmm, mmm. Let me tell you, hunty. Let me tell you. I buy your masculine's love. Some of them kept your DM codependent financially. Like here, it's okay, honey. Let me get you a new ride. I'll pay your car payment. You don't have to worry about it. Or you don't have to help me with the rent. I got it. Don't, don't even stress out about it. He got used to that shit, you know? Whenever the DM uh, started realizing certain things about this karmic and she was getting exposed, she would see that and try to buy his affection or love or whatever by, you know, supplying materialistic things. And maybe I have a feeling your DM played stupid too, like, they be playing dumb too, like, oh, okay, well, let me let me munch off this karmic as much as I can. 
to see what I can get away with, right? They'd be playing dumb too, right? It says, I talk and flirt with other men. Look at this shit. Why? Because this 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 karmic does not care about your DM. She's sitting there being a a thoughtiana, a thoughty, <laughs> a karmic thoughty. Mm -hmm. Yep. Masculine says, "I am being stripped of my faith, and I'm being stripped of my hope." You see that? Your DM started to realize, "Damn, I'm becoming darker, more petty." more negative the more I hang out with this karmic and she's stripping me of my faith and my hope I need to do something to save myself okay so if he was spiritual or religious like she would try to literally make him the opposite of that or I'm hearing like probably even mimic the, the masculine and even the, the feminine's uh, spiritual beliefs I'm very, because she's very insecure. Yep. Very insecure. Unworthy. I wish I was the divine feminine. Wow. This karmic is realizing that she can't be the divine feminine to your masculine. She can be the divine feminine to somebody else, maybe another karmic, or maybe somebody else that would trigger her to get out of those karmic energies, right? Because it, once upon a time, we were all in a karmic energy. We were once this bitch, all petty, like petty LaBelle and shit, with our arms crossed, like, why does she get all the attention or whatever? And then when you found yourself, as you awaken and then you're, you're realizing that what's meant for you will never pass you by. Oh shit. Yeah, see? Masculine is realizing this relationship is damaging me. The more I hold on, the more damage it's causing me. See? Does that say? I can't even see your comments. Hi, Jennifer. Thank you, Mamacita. Yeah, sometimes my feminines will have that doubt that they are the karmic. And it's not that you're the karmic. It's that the karmic side, the karmic side, the lower side of you that you were once is fighting to come out. And your divine feminine side is trying to balance it out, ground yourself, so that you don't fall back into that negative energy anymore. So that's why it's like you're battling your karmic side with your divine feminine, and your divine feminine is most likely to win. But yet you catch yourself slipping sometimes, like, boy, I'm going to stab you in, in the neck while you're sleeping, and then you're like, never mind, I'm going to pray for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, let me just pray for you. Or my, myself. <laughs> oh, another thing that I was channeling, um, that I have been channeling, and I, it was when I was laying down meditating. <laughs> Taking a nap is meditating. But when I was, you know, in the process, I was REM dreaming and stuff like that. I kept channeling the Divine Feminine's energy, talking about, well, this karmic seems to be getting all the attention. This karmic is getting the DM. The karmic is this. The karmic is that. I might as well become the karmic. And that scared me because I'm like, I don't want my feminines to think that, oh, well, the karmic is better than the feminine right now. I might as well be a fucking karmic. I know a lot of my feminines have felt like that. Like, you know what? I'm just going to become the karmic or Maybe I'm going to convince myself that I am or become one or whatever. And it's just like, don't, don't. Because that's your lower self trying to drag you down. Hi, Tiffy. Look at Tiffany's in the house. There's my mod in this house. There's my mod in this house. <laughs> so please, Divine Feminines, don't ever think that for a second that you should lower yourself down to a karmic energy because the karmic is with your DM, okay? 
Look at this. The karmic is making me turn against you. That's exactly what she's doing. Fucking with his head, being childish as fuck. Because she's insecure. Making them, putting shit in your divine masculine's mind about you to make him turn against you and make him demonize you, make him like judge you unrighteously. All kinds of shit, honey. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, look at that. Oh, it kind of seems like both, both feminine and masculine want out. Like I can no longer wear this fucking mask. I want out. Whoever this is for, you're going to know. You're going to know. They're both wanting to turn their backs from each other. Like I'm done. I'm out. That's what it's going to lead to. It says, I, I want out. I'm not even happy with this masculine. See, she is realizing she's not even happy. She doesn't care about his happiness. She's like, why the fuck am I putting all this effort in this person when I know we're not meant to be? Oh, <gasps> is the karmic waking up? Oh my God. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> kind of seems like they both are, right? Tell me more about this karmic that wants out. Let me put this aside. I'm going to use my tarot deck. Okay. So tell me more about the DM and the karmic wanting out. Damn. Ace of Pentacles. They want a new opportunity. So you got to get rid of the old ones that are just not working out, right? Giving yourself or giving yourself to someone who is just going to leave you like to rot, karmic and masculine. Somebody's probably been seeing crows a lot. Crows represent magic and they're very, they're like a prophecy bird. So if you've been seeing crows a lot, feminine, this is, this is the divine or your masculine's way of saying the time is near. I'm coming in with that that promising offer with the Ace of Pentacles when I release this shit. Damn. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else. We also have the skull. So maybe your DM has a tattoo of a skull or maybe skulls remind you of the DM. Oh shit, something. The card flew on the floor. The King of Wands. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Whether whether your Divine Masculine is an Aries, Leo, Sag, or you are the Karmic. But I feel like it could be for the Divine Masculine. Okay, we're picking up fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag. I have a feeling another King will come out, though. This this Divine Masculine, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, he's, he's done-zo. Okay, he's done-zo. And look, he has a face of a skull. Bitch, I fucking can't. What was I saying about the skull? Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. And then I was like, whoa. And they were like, whoa. <laughs> fucking Finding Nemo. Okay, let's see. <laughs> finding the feminine. Let's see what else we have here. It's, it, it was once upon a time finding Nemo and then it's going to be like finding Dory, which means the masculine is going to be his turn to find the feminine because the feminine's like, peace, bitch. <laughs> right? I'm just kidding. But you know what I mean. <laughs> Five of swords. Ooh, someone's losing their goddamn mind. Look at that. I have a feeling the, the DM and the karmic have been giving each other a peace of mind. Arguing, fighting, ego wars, all that shit. And they're losing their shit. Yep. And I know my Tiffany has been sitting there doing the damn thing. That's why she's being rained upon with blessings right now. Good things are coming for my boo. Let's see what else we have here. The five of cups, another five bitch. Five plus five is ten, which equals endings, right? Ooh, 
the five of cups the divine the the, the the karmic is realizing you know what i lost i lost the masculine and he lost me or whatever you know she'll probably try to turn it around saying oh you lost me but this five of cups here is literally for some i feel like it could be the divine feminine saying too late the, the masculine lost me and that's why the other five of swords is here because it's like your ego and your pride is fighting it but at the same time you have a reason you know so that's going to be a, an energy and a situation for you to work through <gasps> the emperor bitch the emperor is aries taurus energy and we did have the king of wands and the ace of pentacles here is earth energy as well so so far we have earth and fire the emperor divine masculine is ready to step into his divine masculine truth authenticity ready to lead ready to do shit his own way without being manipulated or controlled let's see what else the high priestess feminine you could be having premonitions. I'm telling you, maybe this prophecy bird has been coming to you or certain animal totems could be coming to you. You see your galactic antenna? That's your intuition. That's your, your crown chakra, your third eye, like signaling you that something is up. You'll energetically feel it because your, your galactic antenna, your intuition, your spider senses, you'll feel that shit. You'll know it. You're like, damn, I feel a shift. Something's happening. But I can't put my finger on it. What is this? What is this? Mm -hmm. Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could be an air sign of Divine Feminine. Okay? You could be really... Or you could just be in the, the Queen of Swords energy where you're not going to let your guard down guard down too easily and you have been telling your dm like it is you've been frank because sometimes you can't be afraid to tell these dms how it is you gotta you gotta keep them on on their toes right give them a piece of my of your mind of your truth seven of wands and when you do that they get a hella defensive right They'll be like, don't be telling me what to do. Queen of Swords, Seven of Wands. Don't be telling me what to do. Like, what the? Why is she trying to tell me what to do? I'm the emperor. Who she thinks she is? They get all fucking hella defensive and shit. Like, boy, you better calm, better calm your ass. Mama can whoop that ass. Mama gonna knock that ass. Yeah. <laughs> Humbert. All right. So... He could be defensive as fuck, so. <laughs> Hi, Robert. <laughs> Hi, Lon. My daughter's boyfriend. All right, look at that. Air sign energy. We have the star. Some of you guys are an Aquarius, queen of swords, or you're dealing with an Aquarius male or masculine. So we have earth fire air so far being guided the star is guiding you the hope you see the clashing of the waters the waters the tides are really high right now you could be feeling very emotional right now and you're like something is up why why am i purging why do i feel guided to 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 do this or to do that or to say this or whatever because your little galactic antennas, your little reindeer ears, your antenna, your antlers, whatever they're called, um, are screaming something to you. And for everybody, it's a little different, right? Similar, but a little different, but you know. Page of Swords, oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. Do you see what I see? They're sitting there like, Where's my Devon feminine? What's she doing? Like, oh shit, she's watching me. Like, does she see that I'm watching her on her store? Oh shit! You know, though. Be... <laughs> Girl, you know damn fucking well. They're sitting there like. <laughs> Unojo. 
the all seen eye, the divine masculine all seen eye. Whew, shit. And maybe that's, maybe that's what you're feeling. I always feel like somebody's watching me. It's my fucking masculine. Oh, oh. <laughs> no puedo. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this, this, this DM is trying to get information at, you know, about you, you know, what's up with her, is she with somebody, whatever. And because the emperor doesn't do shit himself, he sends his like the knights and the pages to go do the dirty work for him, right? The emperor. So here's the page of swords. Sent the emperor, the, your DM is sending friends, family, whoever to go spy on you. Or they're presenting themselves as somebody else, you know, with fake accounts or some shit. Girl. The tea is being spilt right now. Yep. Let's get a few more. The nine of wands. Look at this shit. It's like he's trying to reach out to you, feminine. Like, oh, get back in here and love me. Right? Because you probably build your walls up. You're like, nope, 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 nope. I'm not going to believe you anymore. Or you better prove to me. I'm not going to just say, I want you back. Come here, my love. Come. You know? Don't get me wrong. Some of you probably will. But, I mean, I'm... There's nothing wrong with that to each your own. But some of you are like Queen of Swords. Like, boy, you better fucking prove to me that there ain't going to be no going back to this karmic. And you're telling it like it is. So they're trying to be like, okay, let me ground myself. Let me try not to get so mad at my feminine for being so right. You know? Yeah. And with the Nine of Wands, they could have been, they, they were, they're still wounded a little bit. If they just left this karmic, you're going to have to give it some time. Because if you jump right in it, they're going to still be in this Nine of Wands energy. Wounded warrior, right? Wounded masculine. And when they're wounded, they want a fast fix. Instead of like healing it, they want that fast fix. Like, come here, feminine. Like, just let's start off where we, or let's left, let's do it where we left off, whatever. And that's when you're like, no, you need to heal or make sure you're, you clear your energy. Cause I, I'm not trying to have your energy with their energy come by. Mm -mm, boy, eight of fucking cups. See, dude, we got the walking away. Didn't we? I want out. That's the, that's the eight of cups. Dude, you can't make this shit up. So whoever this DM is for. It could be a group of DMs or whatever. That's that's him right here. I'm ready to leave these karmic cycles. And then we have the Eight of Cups. Boom. Boom shakalaka laka. Boom shakalaka. So. Yep. Alright. Let's put this aside. All right, now let's go ahead and get some messages from the third party love triangle deck. Okay, so it has the masculine side of how he's messing around with you while he's with messing around with you and the karmic. And this is your side while you're dealing with the DM while he's with the karmic. There could be a, a you know, masculine, a feminine energy in here that's hurt, upset. Shout out to Tiffany who uh, helped inspired the messages in here. So Tiffany, you know, if some of your messages come out, you're going to be like, oh boy, <laughs> brings back memories, right, boo? <laughs> so here we go. I still need to send you this deck. <laughs> you're probably like, I don't want that. <laughs> you're like, nope, nope, nope. I don't want it. <laughs> you're like, that's the old me. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. Let's see what's coming out. All right, I'm only going to take the ones that flipped over. So we got, wow, one feminine, one masculine. Boom. So feminine, it says, I know in my heart you and I will be just 
you and I will be just us again. So feminines, you know deep down in your heart, whether they're with this karmic still or not, you have that hope that one sweet day, it'll just be you two, just you two, not no third party, just you two. So you have that hope still, right? Because you, you want that, you, you wish that, who doesn't, right? Masculine side, it says, I only want what's best for you and what's best for me. Okay, sure, let's, uh, well then, let's see what else comes out. Damn, they keep like, there's a lot of energy in this deck right now. Another masculine card, it says, one day we will fall asleep right next to each other and not have to worry about time. And not have to worry about, oh, I got to get back to my karmic. Oh, shit, you know, um, I can only see you for an hour because I got to go back to work or whatever. So your masculine's like, he thinks one day we will fall asleep next to each other without having to worry about time. Feminine. Oh, yeah, this is this is this is my feminine when you're like queen of swords. It says you being with them is your karma. It's true, right? Because why else would they keep coming back to you, feminine? You're like you being with that karmic is your karma. And so you you pushed yourself away so that they can deal with their karma on their own. Yep. Oh, my back. Wow, this is the DM realizing something. It says, I, tra I traded treasure for trash, and I know that that was a stupid decision. Sad face. So they're in deep thought right now, like, damn, I really did trade treasure for trash. And look, 111 in the chat room. Well, it was. <laughs> but you know what I mean. I saw that number for a reason. Some of you guys could have been seeing 111. That's your DM right there. They're realizing, fuck, I traded a really good thing, my treasure, for something that's not as valuable as my divine feminine. <gasps> Tiffany, I remember you saying that you were seeing 111. Damn. It says, I'm used to being stable with the person that I'm with, but I also crave exciting new energy, and you give me that. See? See? And so they, they thought it was fun to go back and forth and to have both energies. 111 is your birthday? Wow. What an interesting number. I hate that I've complicated our love. How I can feel your sorrow spiritually. Oh. <gasps> So you see, the DM also has a galactic antenna. Obviously, there's spider senses. I see 110. Boom. That number follows me. So your DM knows that, fuck, I really did complicate our connection by going in and out with my DM and my, and my karmic, my D DF and my karmic. And so spiritually, they can feel you, uh, they can feel you crying and upset. They could feel your sorrows spiritually, as it says. I don't want a steady relationship with them. I'm just having fun. For some, okay, for some DMs, your, your DM doesn't want a solid, stable relationship. It, they don't consider it serious. They're just having fun. They're just settling so they can have fun. And they know they can't have that fun while they're with you in that type of way. And by fun, I mean go out there and fuck around with whoever they want. Because they know they can't do that with you. Because you ain't going to put up with that fuckery. I give in to my fears when I try to leave, but it keeps me stuck with them. I find it difficult to break the cycle. Okay? For some... They have a hard time breaking that cycle. For others, they're ready to break free from that cycle. Yep. Yes, ma'am. There's two. One DM, one DF. 
it says you okay divine feminine you to him it says you can't hide your desires from me wait until they fuck you over again you'll be back Ooh, it's like you already know you already know you're like when they get horny when they want a little coochie coochie they're gonna come back you know you're like wait they could be trying to act cold or try to try to hide the fact that they have these fucking desires and passion for you and you're like, okay, wait, wait until she screws you over or stops giving up the cookie. Then you're going to be looking for me. D Divine Masculine says, you help me connect to my higher self and ground me. I've noticed that they don't care for my, my personal growth at all. Mm, well, no shit. No shit. Bottom of the deck. The person that I'm with is very clingy, so it makes it hard for me to spend time with you. That's one That's one excuse, right? One excuse. All right, let's put this aside. Oh, man. Okay, so now we're going to get into... Um, my back hurts. Now we're going to get into the karmic dose. Okay. What does this karmic want you to know? If she could tell you something, if she could talk to you, if she could tell you like it is, whatever the fuck. Okay. This is, this is the deck. This trigger alert. Okay. This, these messages might trigger you a little bit. So make sure that you are up for it. If you feel like you can't handle these triggers, you're going to have to skip past this part okay all right what does the karmic want the divine feminine to know wow i spy on you to see why he still loves you <laughs> she's like why does this dm still love her what does she have that i don't why is he still all sprung up on this chick like she's like straight up stalking your ass a lot of them know who you are divine feminine and they stay hella quiet they be they be hella quiet in the background acting real dumb like they don't know shit it says he's moved on sis you should too this this karmic really wants you to skedaddle that's what she wants she wants you to 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 see and know that he's moved on She's probably posting shit on them, taking trips and everything so that you can see when you spy that, oh, well, he's happy. Let me just fucking get up out of here. That's what she wants. That's what she wants. He cheats on, oh, you see what I mean? This is why the masculine, mm -mm. it says he cheats on both of us to feed his own ego. This is that, that fuck shit that you're not tolerating anymore. When he goes back and forth, cheats on both of you to feed his own ego. And feminines, you have put a stop to that. As hard as it was for you, you put a fucking stop to it. Oh, shit. Okay, this is T. This is hella T. Especially the karmics that thought they were the divine feminine. So it says, I did a dick spell on him not to get hard for you. And now he won't have sex with me. It backfired. <gasps> That's the hot tea. That is the hot tea. It backfired. So in other words, you know what? She ain't even that good anymore. Goodbye. I'm done. She don't even get my willy up. Like, <laughs> hey, they're like, like that SpongeBob mean, I am out. <laughs> fucking SpongeBob. You know that fucking meme when he gets up from the chair? I am out. <laughs> oh my God. All right, it didn't work. I am out. <laughs> I can't. 
oh shit it didn't work and it's affecting me i am out <laughs> oh shit oh my gosh i'm just trying to make fun i'm just trying to make laughs guys you know what i mean <laughs> i ain't trying to make fun of anybody i just think it's funny <laughs> there's a difference no <laughs> Wow, you see, she wants you to stop chasing him. He's moved on. Stop chasing him. And you're like, I did it because huh, I got my, my, my boundaries, okay? Not because you said so, bitch. But she really wanted you to stop chasing him, coming after him. Even though half the time it's him chasing you, pulling your ass in, right? If she only knew... If your girl only knew that you were trying to kick it with me, what would you do? Ooh, damn! What's that song called? If your girl only knew? If your girl... Aaliyah, right? Isn't that Aaliyah? Yes! That's the song. If your girl only knew... <laughs> Woo, that you were dissing her to talk to me. I'm telling you. Look at that. It says, I have hidden cameras watching him. Bitch. I mean, she's fucking watching you. So, I mean, it makes sense. She's spying on you. Spying on him. But who's watching her? Karmic, who's watching you? The divine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm all psycho looking. <laughs> Look at this shit. Oh, this is perfect. This is a perfect card that comes out right after the I have hidden cameras watching him. And look what came out. I overheard him talking about you. She could have either overheard him talking about you through those webcams or on the phone when she was in the other room or he was on the phone with his friends or family, you know, like, hey, you know, have you heard from so-and-so or whatever? Like, she heard him over talk talking about you. That's the tea. That's the tea. You choosing to stick around while he's with me will only make shit worse. Okay? So he for those feminines that are like fuck it, I'm just going to I'm just going to stick around because she she really wants me to move away, but two can play that game, right? Yes, that could be a little petty and you could do what you want, but eventually you're going to get sick and tired of that shit. He never gives me a straight answer about you and I hate it. You see that? <gasps> this came out in one of my TikToks in the, one of my karmic reads for today, I believe. And this is the same card that came out, okay? That every time she tries to question him about you, feminine, he never gives her a straight answer about you. She could be asking him, do you love her? Do you care about her? And he'll be like, what's for dinner? <laughs> I talked to her family. Bitch, that's not what I asked you. Do you love her? I like her mom. <laughs> He'd be petty as hell, like trying to dodge that fucking answer and shit, <laughs> that question. <laughs> Oh my god like the dodgers they lost fuck <laughs> oh my god she's like it is none of her business <laughs> you picture him saying that oh my god oh you see what i mean do you see what i'm what did i say about her posting shit purposely to piss you off it says, I make him take photos with me just to piss you off. I bet you anything your DM hates fucking taking pictures. Like, nah, like, stop, you know, like, uh-uh, you know. And she'll be sitting there like, just take it. Take it with me. It's for your mom. Or, you know what I mean? Like, it could be some stupid excuse. And he's just like, 
And you can tell in the pictures that he's not happy or he's just like, hurry up, hurry up. And she'll be like, oh my God, Ten of Cups energy. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so stupid. But you know what I mean. You know, she makes him. He doesn't want to willingly, maybe. Maybe he does. I don't know. But the fact that she said, I make him. <laughs> Yo no sé, mija. No sé. Here, be like, why are you posting pictures of me? You know I don't like that shit. Take that shit down. No. Ooh, okay. This might upset you, feminine, and it might piss you off, and you might want to... Ooh, bitch. Right? You're going to be like, how dare she say that I'm not a saint? <laughs> I'm a fucking angel. <laughs> It says, I think you have a fake ass halo. That's what this karmic wants you to know. I think she has a fake ass halo. She's over there acting all spiritual and this and that. She's just like me. She's fake. Like, she's not an angel. She ain't your divine feminine. Like, she's acting petty as fuck. Like, she's sitting there like, you ain't got a halo. She's hating. She's hating on your halo. Because you're a fucking saint. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm a child of God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh shit. It says, I became obsessed with you at one point because of him. Oh, and that's true. If she's watching him and watching you and spying on you, it's because she became obsessed with you at one point because of him. Did you call me? No. I heard you loud and clear say Daisy. I even said, yeah. I, probably, I must have been channeling something and yelled it out. Mm -hmm. Or it's a ghost. <laughs> My daughter said that she thought I screamed her name. And she said she even replied, yeah. I told her it's probably a ghost. I don't know. Oh my gosh. It says, I can't give, give him what he wants with you i can't give him what he wants with you oh, okay so in other words she can't give your divine masculine what he wants especially if that's something that only you can provide okay so <laughs> at least she knows her fucking place a little bit anyways I'm trying to say i'm a motherfucking not a saint bitch i come from the heavens <laughs> I only I have him on a tight leash because he misbehaves. So that's your bitch. In other words, he's call, she's calling your divine masculine her bitch. I mean, we did have that card that says he's my toy, right? Ooh, I'm telling. I'm telling. I dare you to screenshot this and send it to your DM. I I triple dog dare you to send this to your divine masculine. Oh no. <laughs> Don't be, uh-uh, don't be throwing me in this, no. Because <laughs> I'll tell it like it is. No, I'm just kidding. But anyways, even your karmic knows that your masculine misbehaves by going in and out. Right? I keep him on a tight leash because he misbehaves. Come here, little boy. Come here, doggy. Quit running away from me. Quit running away from home. You want a treat? You want a treat? <laughs> I better stop. I better shut up. I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know where that comes from. It must be Sienna. Okay. It says I found. Oh. I don't know if I should say this. I, I was so uncomfortable channeling this message. And I didn't even want to put it in. I don't even want to say it. But this is one of those cards that make you say, what the fuck? Because remember, okay? Remember. Where the fuck is this card at? Remember, she was obsessed with you at one point because of him. She must have been in love with you too. It says, I fantasize about you watching me and your DM fucking right in front of you. Yeah. 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 So 
So she's had those thoughts about you watching the divine masculine and the karmic fucking. She's probably even tried to make a, a video of them doing it so she can send it to you. Mm -mm. Now she's obsessed with you. Oh, hell. She probably wants to sleep with you too, Divine Feminine. Like the fuck? She probably wants to have a threesome with you. Shit. <laughs> I caught him spying on you. Look at that. She caught him spying on you. And it's funny because, bitch, what did we have? The page of fucking swords, didn't we? With the one eye? With the one eye? <laughs> no puedo. I'm telling you. Oh, gosh. It says, you know what the problem was? You acted too good for him and that turned him off. At least that's what she's trying to tell you. To try to make it seem that you were the one at fault. She's like, you know what your problem is, Divine Feminine? You you acted like you were too good, but I know you ain't got a halo. You got a fake-ass halo. You see what I mean? How the cards link up? I'm telling you. She's over here trying to act like you this and that. Over here wanting her, over here wanting you to watch them do it. Oh, you mean you want me to watch you um, do my divine masculine when he can't get hard for you anymore because that dick spell backfired? Yeah, sure, I'll watch him be like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I better shut up. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, look, it says quit acting like a fucking saint. Deep down, you're just, you're somewhat just like me. She wants you to believe that you're just like her. Of course, every fucking karmic is going to believe you're just like a karmic. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> wah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Be like, uh uh, I ain't watching you for free, bitch. You better pay me. I'll pay to watch him be wah wah for you. Shit. And then let me show you how it's done, bitch, by back, back, backing it up. Uh, I'm the queen of talking shit. Yeah, let me. <laughs> I need to stop. Cardi B is coming through. All right. Your masculine isn't going to solve all of your problems, sis. Work on yourself just like he's been doing. <gasps> so she's starting to realize that your DM is wanting to work on himself. And she's like, you need to work on yourself. Little does she know if your DM is working on himself, so are you, stupid. Duh. <laughs> better stop oh my god it says i pretend to be interested in everything he likes just so that he can accept me this is her being a chameleon she's being a chameleon she's trying to blend in and trying to feel accepted by everything that he likes everything that he wants oh she could be he could be into sports and she doesn't even fucking like sports she's like i hate sports i never watch sports who's the who's what's dodgers what does that mean you know what does this stand for and then suddenly your dm is like all about the sports and she's like buying jerseys and shit and yeah go what whatever go raiders and your dm's just like bitch you never even liked this shit like what quit acting fake like he he notices that shit Mm -hmm. all right that's enough with that <laughs> girl i can go through a whole fucking deck but we we ain't gonna do that today over there being a karmic chameleon exactly mm -hmm. that's what she is okay so we're gonna get into the twin flame shadows mystic moon twin flame shadows deck let's see what comes through okay superficial look at that he's been acting fake he knows he's been fake this whole time he's been dealing with this karmic or he has he had to act fake sometimes and pretend like he didn't love you or tell her multiple lies about you just to make her feel better or to shut her up in other words he would pacify her tell her sweet comforting lies to pacify her
dependent. Look at that. This karmic is very dependent on this on this divine masculine. Some of them were at one point and some of them still are. Distant, okay? Your DM has been feeling this like this void. It kind of feels like a void. And look, there's that skull. There's that skull. And it kind of reminds me of my the star card in a way. Let me bust it out. Right here. Kind of reminds me of this. Kind of looks similar in a way, right? And look, up here we have stars with the distant card. There's the skull. There's a star. The, the, the waters, clashing of the waters. And then with the distant card, it looks like there's fog over the rocks. And then the stars up above. So I feel like emotionally you have distanced yourself and they can feel that they can, they can feel it. And it makes them feel like this empty void. And also you distance yourself from your DM energetically, mentally, and emotionally little by little because of this karmic. silenced how many of you felt silenced like you know what i'm not even gonna say shit anymore i'm not even gonna express how i feel or what i'm thinking because it's just not going to, you're just not gonna fucking listen so that caused you to distance yourself right but it taught you how to be in your queen of swords energy so now you're like bitch hold me back because i'll tell you like it is sopas <laughs> but you know what I mean. Oh, shit. God damn. Okay, shit. Hold on. Yeah. This card keeps flipping over. So we have the emptiness card, the skull again. Emptiness. Distant. That empty void. Remember I said an empty void with a distant. And then look what comes out. Emptiness. With the fucking skull again. Dude. Dude. Somebody's DM could have colored eyes too. Or just dark brown caca eyes. But like some of them could be those dreamy colored eyes. Ooh, vengeful. Why do I feel like at one... Okay, at one point, maybe this was you, right? At one point. Like, you know what? I want revenge. I'm going to turn into Michael Myers and come after you and the karmic and the whole family i don't know but then you learned how to maybe that's why you detached yourself from them because you didn't want to be in this energy anymore you're like this is not who i am this is not me what the fuck <sighs> take that shit out in bed <laughs> when you can take that shit out in bed be like what was that shit you were talking bitch earlier or that one day on October 3rd, <laughs> you'll be having the fucking dates out and everything. You're like, this date, this date, this date. What the fuck was that shit you were saying, bitch? Let me grab the motherfucking pillow. What was that shit you were saying? Like, you'll take it out in bed. <laughs> and you're like, oh shit, did he pass out? Wake up. Wake up. I'm not done with you. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> I'm kidding. But you know what I mean. I'm just making fun. wake up i was only kidding <laughs> disconnected yeah you're like let me disconnect myself before i end up in jail <laughs> oh yep disconnected emptiness silence distant vengeful yada yada freaking yada oh man oh boy that's that was the shadow part of your phase right Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, 
What is this masculine, okay? What does this masculine want you to know? Dealing with this crazy karmic, with this toxic karmic, let's see. What is he starting to realize and recognize that caused him to want to say peace out? What was the dealio? So I'm going to use my behind the mask deck. Oh, wow. <laughs> it says I get sick to my stomach looking at this karmic now. Damn, it got that bad, huh? Like, I can't even look at you because I get nauseous. <laughs> oh, man. Like, don't look at me. I get sick. <laughs> okay, DM, that bad, huh? You don't have to, you don't have to wait till it gets that bad. And you're in the toilet like, Bleh. why? You know why he gets sick to his stomach? Because the connection's toxic. And once you're, you're energetically, your higher self is trying to remove you from that. It's your body detoxing the toxic energy. So you look at the karmic and you're like, Bleh. You make me sick, bitch. No. <laughs> like, I'm so dizzy. Stay away from me. <laughs> Pretty much. That's how it is. So bad to, to where you can no longer tolerate the toxic energy. You start vomiting. Your body will start naturally detoxing itself. Look at this shit. It says, this karmic isn't housewife material like you. So if, he's, if he lives with the karmic, okay? If he lives with the karmic... And he's realizing that she's not like my feminine. Like she doesn't keep the house clean with candles on. It doesn't smell good. There's never any food or whatever the fucking case is. Like she don't have that magic touch like the divine feminine. And maybe he realizes that. She ain't housewife material like you. Some people just don't got it, you know? Shit. It says, don't allow, wow. Mm. Remember how the karmic's like, I'm posting pictures on purpose. Look at this shit. The DM is like, they know that that shit like really gets to you. He said, don't allow what you see on social media to trigger you, baby. It's all fake. Oh. Ah! Te, te, te caliente. I'm telling you, that's a response to the fucking cards that we got earlier. Girl, if that ain't hot tea, I don't know what is. He's saying it himself that it's fake. This karmic irritates my nerves daily. <laughs> Get his nerves all rattling and shit. Yeah, I'd be nervous too if I felt like sick to my stomach every time I saw her or him or whoever was, you know, toxic as fuck or whatever. Like, damn, I can't stand being around this motherfucker, you know? Like, oh, here comes my nerves. Here comes my high, blood, my high blood pressure. Your divine masculine might come back with fucking high blood pressure or low blood pressure, high sugar, high cholesterol, whatever the fuck. <laughs> oh, man. And you, being the, the kitchen witch, is going to get him to good health again. What else we have here? My karmic partner doesn't respect my boundaries. We've been, obviously, if she's spying on him through hidden cameras, right? Because we divine feminines don't do that. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. Here it says, my, karmic, my karmics have influenced me really badly. That's all I know. Please help me. So for the divine masculines that have been dealing with karmic after karmic after karmic, those are the influences that he's constantly around. And so that's all he's going to know is just toxic traits, toxic ways, this, this, and that. Getting sick and doesn't even know why. And it's like he wants the divine is going to bring in the divine feminine to for the masculine so he can see the difference. Okay, so it says, my friends ask me, what the fuck am I doing with this karmic? Yes, dude. Even the divine masculine's homies are like, yo, dude, what are you doing with this girl? Like, she's crazy. Come on. You know your mama don't like her. You know your mama says she can't cook clean for shit. 
I bet this Divine Masculine's mom talks hella shit about this karmic. Unless the Masculine's mom is karmic herself, she's gonna fucking like the petty shit. Like, y'all can be best friends. Let me just have my DM, right? Because there's a lot of... Mo mo I was gonna say monster-in-laws. Them too. There's a lot of, like, crazy mother-in-laws out there like that. But here it says, I'm only with them because it's convenient for me at the moment. You see that? Your divine masculine's mom hated you. You see? A lot of them, they hate the divine feminine because they think the feminine is taking my precious son away. And because a lot of the divine masculine's parents, you know, it starts from childhood. They, they are taught a lot of things. They're indoctrinated to be like the fucking karmic mother or whatever. You know what I mean? So no wonder why you're with the karmic because you have a fucking karmic mother. You know what I mean? Not all of them, but most of them do. Narcissistic. They, they play victim. They're emotionally and mentally abusive as well. And they baby the masculine so much to a point where you're masculine. That's what he's going to always expect from a woman. Chase me. Hand it to me. Give it to me. If you don't and you reject me, I don't want you. Because my mama can give it to me. Like, or I'll make you afraid to a point where, oh, you don't want to give it to me. I'm going to make you afraid that I will leave you if you don't give me what you want. Be careful with those type of masculines who have those, those toxic mo mo mothers and obviously you future mother-in-law, you know what I mean? So it starts from childhood trauma and childhood neglect or whatever. And that the way of them, you know, raising them and shit. Careful with them mamas too. That's why those karmics could get along with some of their moms. And most of them don't. For the masculine's mothers that don't like the karmic, that's when you know that's a good mama right there. <laughs> but you know what I mean. They can sniff out the toxicity. It says the karmic knows I still love you. Yep. This karmic knows the divine masculine still loves you. Here it says, I found out this karmic has been having a secret love affair. And you know what's funny? And the karmic exposed deck. Do you remember when it says, I flirt and talk with other men? Oh, <gasps> bitch, the fucking tea. Look, it's right here. See? And the, and the masculine found out about that. Oh, you ain't nothing but a Tatiana, honey. I bet I told you, DM, and you probably told your divine masculine about this. Like, watch, she's going to fuck you over, dude. Watch. And then this shit happens. Look at that. I bet it's been fucking happening. Boom. Right? I bet it's been happening. Here it says, I found out this karmic tried to do voodoo on me. Oh. <gasps> Remember that dick spell we were talking about earlier? Bitch, I'm telling you, you can't make this shit up. <sighs> Boom. He found out about it. He found out. Right? When he's fucking peeing, he and his wee-wee don't get up no more. I don't know. But he found out like, um... Why are my boxers wrapped up in your underwear inside of a candle? Like, what's up with that? <laughs> like, he found out. He found out. Whatever the fuck she did, but he found out. <laughs> oh, my God. All the karmic knows how to do is ruin my damn, is drain my damn energy. Yep. No wonder why you're getting sick, DM. You're getting sick. Your energy's being drained. You don't want, you don't have time for nothing. You're not productive anymore. You're becoming a little blob. You're not working out as you used to. Mm. The karmic stresses me out so much. I get physical pains all over my body, bitch. I'm done. I'm telling you. You see? She irritates my nerves daily. Your nerves, it, it really does fuck with your, your whole system, right? Drains him of his energy. 
I mean, the list goes on. Gets sick to his stomach, throwing up, wakes up with headaches. Come on now. Come on now. Physically ill. Like, what's up, homie? You got you got coat, you got the vid or something? You got the vid? And he's like, nah. I just got karmic uh I just got the karmic disease. <gasps> I got the karmic shit. You know? What it what, what what do we call the karmic uh, the illness? The karmic a choose. <gasps> I got the karmic a choose, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Oh my god, the karmic COVID. <laughs> I got the karmic vid. <laughs> All right, so the last deck I'm gonna pull and then we're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna get the karmic for one one. So what else is this divine masculine one in you to know? What is what does he want you to know? Okay. This is him talking to you. Let's see. I'm afraid she's going to stab me in my sleep. <gasps> DM, is it that bad? Is it that bad? She said, why am I laughing? Because <laughs> we're just trying to make fun. But anyways, yeah, your DM is like sleeping with one eye open. Like, oh my God, is she coming? Like, oh my God, she's going to steal my dick. <gasps> she's doing spells on me. Now she's going to stab me. <laughs> like he's fucking scared as fuck now. <laughs> I could just picture this divine masculine like I said to sleep at my mama's house now. <laughs> She's gonna stab me in my sleep, bro. If I don't call you the next morning. <laughs> and the DM's friends is like, bro, we told you, we told you not to fuck with her. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> he doesn't, he didn't want to listen. You're gonna end up dead. Now you're gonna be talking to me from above. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is my karmic is leaving town soon. I want to see you. Ooh, maybe that's why she wants to stab his ass in his sleep. Because maybe she caught him sending you this message. Oh, you're going to go see her while I'm gone? Bitch. Your spirit is going to go see him? You know what I See her? But your spirit's going to go see her. You can go see her in the 5D, right? Like she's probably, She probably caught him sending you this message like hey she's leaving town you wanna wanna meet up <laughs> shit girl we have access my karmic has access to my social media i have to watch what i say oh <gasps> i'm telling you you see he could have wrote you on social media and she caught it and that's why she's like i'm gonna stab you <laughs> you <laughs> oh shit this is getting juicy this is the karmic soap opera right here bitch fuck Whew. karmic uses her family to manipulate me i see where all the toxicity comes from oh you see we we're just talking about toxic mothers and now this karmic has toxic family members okay why she became toxic herself and he, this masculine is realizing that the, the karmic's family loves to manipulate the masculine, right? Tries to convince him of shit. She uses them when she can't get what she wants from the masculine. She'll go run and tell her mama or a family member, someone that's close to the DM, like convince him or say this to him or make him feel like shit or threaten him or whatever. He's realizing that this karmic's family is toxic as fuck too. man oh man who she's been going through my phone i had to clear my tracks he didn't got caught yep bye bye dm <laughs> no wonder why he's like yep she's gonna stab me in my sleep i want out i'm ready to go now i'm done with these karmic cycles i'm gonna end up dead you see you see She's been going through my phone. I went through your phone last night. I'm telling you, saw some things I didn't like. Now I'm going to stab you in your sleep. <laughs> oh, man. Because you straight up try to fuck with me. <laughs> oh, shit. 
We treat each other like shit behind closed doors. You see that? Behind closed doors, they treat each other like shit. Well, well, well. I'm sorry if I'm not nice to you. I am just used to negativity. You see? DM is letting you know, I'm sorry I'm not nice to you, Divine Feminine, because I'm influenced by karmic my whole life, and that's all I know. So I'm sorry if I'm mean to you, if I push you away, if I'm acting like a karmic. There you go. A lot of it stems from years and years of buildup of karmic karmic layers, let's say. Got to peel that shit like a banana, right? Stressed out. My karmic is stressing me about you. She bugs. She a bugaboo. She bugging who? She bugging me. And don't you see it ain't cool. You see? This is why he's stressed out. I get See that card that says that I get so stressed out. I get physical pains all over my body. Well, damn. Well, damn. She's becoming a bugaboo. Because he she saw something she didn't like. That he wrote you. A, you know, when she was leaving town or when he tried to be sneaky and sneak away with you. Oh, it says caught. You see, I had to ghost you because I got caught. I'm done. You see, do you, he got fucking caught. He got busted. And now he's sleeping with one eye open. There you go. There you fucking go. There he goes. There she goes. <laughs> There she goes again, trying to stab my ass. No, I'm just kidding. But you know what I mean. Damn. So she, you see, you got caught DM and now he's like, I right, am out. <laughs> I got caught. All right. It ain't fun no more. I'm out. <laughs> SpongeBob. <laughs> that's the new one. Oh, that's the new one. All right, guys, I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> it was fun laughing with you guys. I go, I hope you guys enjoy this karmic reading. That shit was tea, right? This was the karmic soap opera, honey. Thank you so much. Make sure to give it a, a like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. I can't wait to lay my ass down and then read all the comments that I couldn't read completely. I love you too. You're welcome. Thank you guys. Have a good night. Hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll see. We shall see. All right, guys. Bye, darlings. Bye-bye.